The moose is here. Da -da 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 -da. Moose satchel. There it is. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing as the bear because I only have the one arrow. If I had forged more, I could have uh, could have done more. But well, we're gonna do the same thing. I'll show you a little trick. Hello fellow survivors and welcome to another episode in the Stalker series here in the Long Dark where I do a casual Stalker playthrough rather than Interloper for a change. It's basically me, it's basically my holiday, that's what this is. <laughs> Stalker is my holiday. Uh, the wolves though are like pesky people who's making me trying to buy everything. That was a strange analogy. But uh, you know, wolves are metaphors for all sorts of things. Have you ever seen the movie The Grey? Those wolves are not actually wolves. Anyway, that was like five tangents in 10 seconds. And uh, here we are in Desolation Point in Hibernia Processing. And I got well fed. I got a lot of food outside, all this bear meat. And we are kind of done in this region. As in, we've done a lot of stuff. We haven't mapped everything, but we've done almost everything. But uh, we are not going to leave this yet. Now, very often on an interloper run, what I would do now is I would go to Ash Canyon and get a technical backpack. I would also maybe, on this difficulty, go to Hushra Valley to get the Moosehide Satchel. But both of those are really far away, and I might speed up there um, later. But for now, I want to be completely sustainable here in Desolation Point. And there's a few things we can do with that. Uh, because we already have the hammer, we found the hammer, and we have a revolver, we have this recipe, we have the bow, but we don't have uh, any arrows for one. And how are conditions? But that was okay condition. So we have uh, almost everything, but there's a few things I haven't been to uh, here in the region. Uh, a couple of smaller places I haven't looted, and also I would like to forge to just make it as complete as possible. We're gonna do that before we do that though in the last episode there were quite a few observant viewers who noticed a few things which was that i missed some loot people have eagle eyes and when you play uh, speaking of which when you play this game uh, i don't have the screen particularly close but you always have a focus point that's just how attention works in psychology you focus on one thing and you miss things that you are not looking at it happens all the time but however for you the viewer you have more of a holistic view so you see a larger picture and therefore you see things that i miss and there were a few things that uh, i did miss and uh, the main one being a jerry can in here i think it was over here i also wanted to check this area again because it didn't really look that close here I think it's over here. We are, yes. You see here? Here's a jerry can. So keep the lamp burning. Yeah. And I totally missed that. <laughs> but viewers saw it. And there were some other things too, mostly in the Riken. Um and so I'll pick those up when I when I see it. But for now, what we're going to do, we're going to forge. We're also going to um go a couple misc places and just make Desolation point our place now we, because we killed the bear very early it's quite possible that the bear will respawn very soon one more thing i want to do here what materials do we need for the fishing tip up thingy uh this one scrap and fishing tackle. we have a fishing tackle cloth and sticks do I have scrap metal? If not, I can just grab some. Three hours is a bit much. A bit much for that. Um, did I save some scrap metal upstairs? If not, I'll, I will harvest some. 
need to sort some inventory out also. I'm very heavy and I don't need to be this heavy. Oh, this also is fine. Or let's do this one. 45 minutes. Let's do that. Okay. So I want to make a tip up or two. So here's that. Uh, scrap and cloth. Let's go. Because here in Desolation Point, there are no fishing huts. But with this tip up, we can now fish. I need fishing lure. I don't think we have that already, right? No. Let's make that. We need wires, feather, and scrap for that. So let's do that. You got different ones though. There's acorns. I don't think I have any acorns, but we can get some acorns. And a revolver shell case. And that I do have. I need more scrap metal though. Hmm. I might make some different laws and try them out. Let me go and check out my inventory before I make those. I would like to have more than one tip up. Uh, because, mm, because then I can put them in different places. So let's just have a look. These are books, I believe. Yes. And let's just put this in. I'm carrying too much stuff. This was clothing. Yeah. For the most part. And here, cloth, oil, and some other thing. Here's a shell casing. There's scrap metal. We don't have acorns. Okay. Uh, let's just make that quickly. Boom. So here we got two. We got simple and fishing line and that sort of thing. Uh, we'll do this one. This one you can't use as an interloper. Well, you can because it, you sometimes find uh, shells in um, in Hushtara Valley. So you, you can potentially do it. Get a simple one too. And if we get a standard fish, we'll uh, convert it into bait. Uh, I would have liked um, to have more than one of these, but I don't really have the fishing lines for them. All right, let's sort some inventory out. First things first, let's eat. And then we'll do this. And also we do need to... Um, Forge. So we're probably going to do that now. But let me sort my inventory out. So book. Yeah, we can take it. I mean, we're going to going to use this anyway. Uh, see, what else is there anything? I have so much food. I think that's mostly what's making me heavy. Yeah, it is. Let's put the peaches in here because we can use those for other things. And then here uh, we can put the other one of these in. Uh, same with this. These you don't need. I guess that's actually it. Yeah. What about here? Yeah, it's better now at least. Yeah, it's better. Yeah. Okay. Let's also make this into Tinder. Unless... Are there some newspapers here maybe? Uh, there's very often newspapers around there. I guess not. Let's also grab some more scrap metal for the, um, the forging. Get this. <laughs> Doesn't matter if it gets dark or anything. There we are. Uh, and let's make this into Tinder. And then I think I'm going to go Forge. Because I want... Uh, I did find a hatchet, but I have not found a knife. I want to make a knife. I don't think I'll make a hatchet, because in this difficulty... Um, it's not that big a deal, really. Uh, because you can find the hatch. You can also find a knife. I just don't have one right now. So here we go. Here's all our cooked bear meat. Which I will at most eat one of at a time. Uh, we could actually grab one. Uh, we have food for now. Alright. I do smell a bit, so I gotta be a little bit careful. You can also check out beachcombing. See if anything has washed ashore. See what's up there. Let's do that first. And before I forge, I want to check one area, which is over there, behind that place. That's where um, you can actually spawn there. There's not much to it. There's um, some rabbits, usually sometimes a deer, and maybe a sapling or two. Can also be a corpse. Uh, smaller things. But we got to check it out. And let's check out beachcombing. There's nothing big as washed ashore because then I would have seen it. 
Like, for example, the boat or something like that. I will, we're going to check, though, for smaller things, nevertheless. And I think we can put the tip up, like, next to the Riken. In fact, why don't we put the tick, uh, tip up, rather, now, before uh, we check the loot over there. Because then I can fish while I go and have a look at stuff. But let's do that. Now, so while I'm doing that, uh, I don't need to carry, for example, all of this stuff. Or that. Uh, or this. Or this. So, let's uh, make a ice fishing hole. Suitable ice. This is not suitable. How about here, then? I mean, this is... It should be possible to fish here in Desolation Point, right? I mean, it's a load of ice. There we are. So how far back can I take this before it turns red? Okay, so that far back. This is okay. Fine here then. Use the use the hammer, I think. This is the closest I can get to the Riken. There we are. Okay. Let's put in this. With a fishing lure. I think we'll put this. Let's put a simple one in first. Just to catch any fish, which I can turn into bait. And then we can switch it around. Flying crows, which means nothing. They're just ambience. Ambience and a little bit that it tells you what time of day it is. In the sense that it's either kind of noon, morning, or evening. If you're interested in those crows, I have a whole video about it, which includes conversations with the developers. And basically, they mean nothing. <laughs> Let's see, we got some wood. Uh, I don't really need this wood, but I might pick it up anyway, just for the forging. Is that a flare shell? Oh, wow. So, flare shells used to be finite. Before the loot overhaul in December 2022, on Interloper you can only find eight shells in total. So you have to be very careful with the shells you used. On Stalker and that sort of thing, you could find more shells though. You can go around with 20 of them probably. Because you can find them in random locations and that sort of thing. Oh, here we got a fish. We can maybe use that as bait. We'll see. But now if they wash ashore, uh, with the part two of the DLC, which was called uh, Signal Void, they refreshed Beachcombing. And now apparently, I mean, I haven't looked at everything, because on Interloper there's a lot of stuff that doesn't wash ashore. But here, uh, this washes ashore, and that means that you can potentially have infinite... Uh, Uh, infinite flare shells, which is fantastic. Okay, here's the little island. I think this is called Lit. I think it's actually just called Little Island. I think that's the name of it. And you can actually spawn here on Interlope. I think you spawn like right there, I think. I can't remember exactly. And here, this we can map. So here we got a rabbit grove. We got corpse and the carcass. <laughs> it is actually called this Little Island, yeah. I don't need the rabbits. Let's pick up this. Nothing there. I think I'll leave this carcass for now. I don't really need it. I don't see any major loot coming. By beach coming there. We'll take these. Rabbits we can leave, I think. Uh, we haven't actually matched. The Riken, funnily enough. We'll do that later. Let's see if the tip up has already caught something. That will be good. It does not look like it has. Uh, I could kill a deer if I wanted to, but I don't think it's necessary just yet.
Let's uh, let's map over here. Yeah. But, uh, there we are. So we're protected from the wind. There we are. Map this. There we are, the Riken. And since it hasn't triggered, we might as well take this. And I can harvest it. Oh, you are. We get seven bait from that. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. <clears throat> That's a lot of bait. Hmm. All right. Sweet. Can I amend this? Or do I have to wait for it to come up? I, I'm not sure, actually. Break the ice. Oh, yeah, I can't I can pick it back up. Okay. Let's use this then. Now we have bait. Hehe. <laughs> Much better. Does bait count as something smelly? No, it doesn't. Interesting. Okay. We'll go and check that later. So I think we'll go forge now. Does he want more arrowheads? Pick up all this stuff. We do need more... Um, Well, scrap metal though so before it gets too dark hopefully i can destroy the scrap that's in here let's see like this stuff how long does it take to break this down mm, i think that's gonna be too long let's do this and then uh, that mm, you can try i don't think i'm gonna manage no, it didn't work. Oh well. That's alright. We can go forward through what we have for now. Okay. Excuse me for one second. Okay. Alright. It's a bit dark, but actually, light a torch instead. Because we are going to light a fire. Doesn't matter that we're tired, it's not really relevant. We might be able to break down some more scrap metal while this is burning. Here we got some more coal. We have more than enough coal. Oh, I missed this bandage. This pack is getting kind of heavy. That's all right, Will. So let's start a fire here, shall we? Use a book. Use the torch. Accelerant. We don't need to use accelerant. So we already have a hatchet. I'm going to make a knife. We will find a knife, though. Not in this region, but as I move on into other regions, I will find a hunting knife. Which weighs less than the improvised knife anyway. But for now, since I don't have one, I'm going to just well. make one. Let's put on these. And then put on some of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it is actually possible to start forging with only four pieces of coal. So in order to forge, the forge itself has to be 150 degrees Celsius. And whatever the equivalent is in Fahrenheit. And one piece of coal adds 20 degrees heat. However, it is possible to heat up any fire, like campfire or forge, up to 80 degrees with any fuel. So in theory, you could put sticks on. A stick tends to heat up one degree. So in theory, you could light a forge, put 80 sticks on there, <laughs> and then it will go to 80 degrees. Then you put four pieces of coal on, and it will turn into 160 degrees. So you could do that. Uh, but there's no real point in doing that unless you're in a pinch. Just use the coal. Plus you can't have a fire burning more than uh, 12 anyway. Wait, where's my... Um... Oh, I don't have a pot, of course, derp. That's why I have those cans. For some reason I thought I was carrying a um, cooking pot, but of course I wasn't. Uh, that's right. We'll eat. Uh, we'll eat this one here, and we'll just get a pot, a, a little tin. Uh, having a cooking pot here is a really good. Uh, not a uh, not a can, and not the skillet, but an actual cooking pot because you can put the cooking pot on here, and then it will take roughly uh, two hours to cook uh, all the water. And you can make a bunch of arrowheads in the meantime. For now, though, it takes 40 minutes. And making two arrowheads takes an hour. So, yeah, that works. 
need to close my eyes. So you can do that. There you go. Yeah, that works. However, I also want to make a knife. Oh, I didn't have cloth. I didn't bring any cloth. Hmm. Thought I had some cloth. Let's see if it's any around then, because uh, I thought I brought cloth. I must have left it behind. I mean, I can just go get it. It's not a big deal, but... Ah, I forgot these cartridges on the floor. That's right. From last time. Let me see if there's any cloth around. I don't think there actually is. Might have to go and get it. Which is a bit of a shame. Unless uh, pillow? Ironically, I need a knife to break down the pillow. Uh, to get the cloth. That's a bit annoying. I don't actually think there is any cloth there now. That's a shame. No curtains or anything. Hey, the fishing thingy is up. Well, let's just do that then. Is there anything here, actually? I think there were some rifle rounds there too, weren't there? That I missed before. Uh, there we are, yeah. Nice. And have I looked over here? Okay. Let's have a look at this thing. Doesn't matter that the forge is on. What have we got here then? So we got let's just break the ice. Okay, we got Fred Resh Red Irish Lord. That is cool. I need to drop something. Let's put on another one. Did it use the actual lord? No, it didn't. Let's get this one this time. Cool. Okay. What we could do is we can go get the cloth, but let's make the arrows first. Now this fish, I think, is only used in one particular recipe, which I think requires a recipe. Is it this one? That's trout. Uh, I, I, I think it might be one you find, yeah. And now you just cook it, I believe. You could just cook it here. Isn't that kind of like an ominous thing? <laughs> the fire in the distance then? Oh, did I walk into something? I guess I did, yeah. And it's tilted as well. Let's just have a look here. Uh, for this fish. Forty-six minutes. Well, let's make some arrowheads then. I need three scrap metal for the... Um, with a knife, so that's fine. Alright, 900 calories and it weighs 1.2 kilos, so still too much, but still. At least it's something. Okay, uh, let's just keep making some arrowheads for now. So, tired. I so I have a bit more arrows. Right How long has this got? Can I break down this? Three hours it takes. Uh, I'll go get. Is there anything I can harvest that's really bad? Yeah, I could just harvest these. This is a very bad one. We'll definitely find a better one, but I think we'll pass on doing that. Uh, let's see. How many arrows do I have now? I have eight. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's go get the cloth then, I guess. The only thing is, we're really heavy. We'll go back with the uh, stuff we forged, and we'll go back here and forge the knife. I uh, need the cloth, yeah. Let's, uh, let's just make sure here. Uh, where is it? We're gone. Oh, yeah. Be in one, yeah, okay. Oh, this is uh, tipped up again. Let's see what we got this time. The more Irish fish. 
Uh, it's really frozen. It's the hammer. We got salmon this time. I wonder if I can drop fairly, this fairly big one. I think we'll drop the salmon here. Yeah. <laughs> Drop the salmon right here. We'll cook it later. Right here. It's very heavy. And we might drop a few other things here. So let's drop the salmon. Let's also drop this. And I guess that's it actually, yeah. Let's go get the cloth while the fire is still burning. So it's really just up the road here, so it's not far at all. No one would say that screw it, let's let it die out. I mean, it's just right up here. Plus, it's not so much the fire duration all that stuff. It's just that the fire is hot enough now to forge. So I might as well just go do it. We got. We could make a new bow, but this is over seventy percent, which is fine. And we have one arrow only. And we're quite well armed, actually. If we survive to day 10, then um, <clears throat> I think the bear will respawn, actually. We can kill him. Because we have the bow, we have a roll, we have everything, so. I'm not too worried about that part. Let's see. Let's go get our cloth. There is also some cloth in this trailer. But again, you <laughs> ironically need a knife for it. Let's just go and get what we have stored. Watch out for wolves. In case one is lurking around, it does happen. There we go. And up we go. I think I probably need this. All right. Let's see. Uh, here, I think, right? Yes. So I need, is it just one cloth I need? I think it's just one, isn't it? Double check that, so I'll make the trip twice. Uh, yes, one. But I'm gonna take both though. It's easy to get more of it. Okay. Sorry, let's go. No, wait, 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 sorry. Let's drop some stuff here too, because uh, we're not gonna use stuff here so let's take this we'll put the uh, feathers in here not that many feathers actually saplings to cure here uh, and then we got let's refuel with that stuff uh, we got some wood, but that's not the issue. Or well, something, other oh, the arrowheads, yeah, let's put the arrowheads in, in here. Not way much, but still. We have a hook. Actually, let's take this hook. And one of these. Because one of the things that I forgot, we'll, we'll grab it later. Is I forgot to um, loot a fishing line. That was in the car that's up there. Uh, I could maybe quickly just grab it. Then we can make one more. Oh, damn it. Maybe we can make one more of these uh, fishing tip things and put it somewhere else. If you want to, that is. It was, oops, it was up here. I might drink a coffee. I got uh, I got a lot of coffee. It shouldn't be an issue. <clears throat> they can run a little bit. So here, yeah. Thought I could hear some. 
In here, I forgot that. Very easy to miss. And I also pretty sure I actually forgot to loot this. Yes. Wow. How about that? I think I was just going through too quickly. The issue is when you play Stalker is that uh, for those of us that play Interloper regularly, there's just so much loot. So I'm just not used to there being so much stuff around. I'm especially not used to looking at the floor to find bullets. Like on, on Interloper, you, you don't really look at the floor very much except for in corners and stuff to see if there's a tool or something hidden under something. So it's very easy to miss. So when you're playing, of course, you have a focus point, which is usually at the center of the screen, but you could be looking around, you know, uh, eye tracking studies, you know, show it. You can even see it in Eastville sometimes. People look certain places and that's their focus point. And then they miss things in their periphery. Well, the viewer have a more holistic vision and sees everything. A bit like when you are a passenger in a car, the driver, is focusing on certain things while the passenger sees all sorts of other things so the viewer will always spot more things than i will but in interloper on interloper i miss loot too and I, in fact i have a video of all the loot i missed in 2021 <laughs> including things like i missed a stim on interloper that was right in front of me so you miss things all the time but on stalker there's just so much more loot around especially on the floor that it's, it's so easy to miss so um uh, I probably will miss more things. So I do actually appreciate uh, you, the viewer, pointing out things that I have missed because then I can always go back and pick it up later. Assuming I'm still in the region, of course. All right. Let's get back to forging. Go up to this ominous thing in the distance here and make this... Uh, this knife. How long... Is it burning for? Two hours. Okay, so we need to put some fuel on here then. Do that. It's fine. Let's make the knife. There we are. And uh, how long to break down some of this metal? Some of them are pretty big. Like this. What about... The same, right? An hour 30 for that one. Okay. And this one? Also an hour 30. Okay, I might break down this one then. To make sure this burns for an hour and 30 first, so. Yeah, we well, can put this on. Got so much coal, it's fine. And let's have a drink. I want to make a little bit more arrowheads. There we go. And then I'm going to make some more water as well. Make water. <coughs> uh, uh, I already did that. Let's make arrowheads. Rinse and repeat. So an interloper, with one exception, you can never do this. Oh, wait, is it going to die out? Now we got it. Okay. 46 minutes. We need a bit more time, so let's put on two more. An interloper, you'll never find a hammer where there is a forge. So that means that whenever, if you go, for example, if you spawn in Desolation Point, which you can on interloper, you can never forge there on day one. Uh, the only exception is if you go to Broken Railroad on interloper, there is a 25% chance that the um, the hammer spawns there by the forge. Okay, nice. These kind of bad torches. I'll pick them up anyway. I think we are done. Oh wow, that was a terrible torch, but that's okay. I think we are done with that. Um, we could now. I have checked this already, haven't I? Oh, cloth. <laughs> that's funny. Hey, look at this. What have we a here? flashlight. And I, oh, I hadn't looted this. Wow, so all this stuff hidden behind here that I just didn't see. Gosh, you really got to look everywhere, huh? Everywhere. Like, 
I'm just not used to looking at these places because uh, they're usually not anything there on Nintlop. But this is interesting. It makes you want to look even more. I think also someone said I, f I missed a pry bar in here somewhere. Is that true? Let's have a look. Is there a pry bar around here that I'm just not seeing? Uh, I'm not sure where that is, in which case. I'm gonna look around until I see it. If it is here, that is. Let's check upstairs. I really gotta comb through things. There's just so much detail. Let's use some of these low condition torches. Uh, now we can actually harvest this if I wanted to, because now I have the knife. See any primer here? Oh, I think I know where it is actually. I think it's up in the captain's bridge. Okay, that's uh, done. We'll check that too. Let's see here. Is there a pry bar here? Yes, there is one. <laughs> you see all this loot that was missed? So some of this loot that I missed was spotted by you, the viewer, and thank you for that. And some no one spotted, and some I didn't even check. There's so much to just check. Let's see if I can uh, light this one too. We have the mag lens and it's um, it's sunny, so I don't really need to do this, but I think I'm going to make a fire, like here. Just because then I can cook some of this fish and all that stuff, make some more water. Come on. I want to make another one of those tip-up things. I want to make more arrows, but I have to wait for the birch saplings to cure before I can do that. How many of these do I have? Two. Okay, we can grab more of those. Okay, uh, let's put on here a piece of coal, why not? We can put that for now over here. There. Let's cook this. Salmon. An hour. Yeah. I'm exhausted, but that's okay. We're just gonna be exhausted for a little while. What have we got here? 100% frozen, so. Break this ice. I wonder how long that took. We can check by checking the fish. Okay, we got another salmon. Try this one. The biggest salmon I ever caught is 6.13 kilos. Is the biggest salmon I ever caught. Surrounded by snow. So that took to wow. Break. It took that long to break through <laughs> the ice. Wow. Now we're gonna eat this. I gave so many calories. I don't think I'm gonna finish it. And I gave lamp oil too. Let's cook that too. And that. Uh, and then I think let's have a drink, yep. Yeah. Did I actually finish eating? I don't think I did. No, it's a bit left. Uh, I want to grab the coal, because I want to, uh, the charcoal, I want to map. But I think we maybe will spend the night here. Uh, just because, uh, recover some energy. And also we're not in a hurry, because we need the... We need our saplings to cure. That's a lot of stuff. We need the saplings to cure. So where haven't I been yet? Let's have a look at that. And also let's go outside and make the... I think we can make fishing tackle without... Uh, a workbench, can't we? Yeah, this one. Yeah. Then we can make another fishing tip-up. 
me have a look here. Um, it does require workbench, yeah, and sticks. Uh, <clears throat> well, we can harvest these terrible torches for some sticks. We can make another fishing tip. We don't really need another fishing tip up. I just thought it'd be kind of cool to put them around. The fish you can catch is dependent on the area you're in. So salt water, which is this, will catch salt water fish, fish, not surprisingly. So we haven't mapped this part here. We haven't mapped the bridge or the open ice, I guess. And this part here, and that's about it really. We've more or less been everywhere. We haven't checked here, which is Matt's, Matt's truck, I think that's called. Uh, we could go and do that. Uh, but I think we might just pass time here and sleep. Uh, let's ha make some tinder plugs. Okay, take that. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Take that. And uh, yeah, I think. How much lamp oil do we have? Nineteen. Yeah, we fuel that. And let's just do this. I think we will just stay here for the night. And then we'll start doing some other stuff, some misc stuff around the region. I think we're just gonna do that now because we're exhausted anyway. We're gonna sleep here. Uh, have a bit of water, I'm just gonna sleep, pass time and sleep until it's morning, and then we'll do some stuff. Because we're going around exhausted, which is. Preventing us for he to heal, but not just that, it's just you're so slow. Okay, that's 12 hours. Uh, we can finish eating our mini salmon. We could also eat some other stuff. We can I eat need this. Some water. For example, get some hydration in us and some calories. We'll eat the salmon as well soon. Oh, it didn't actually finish that. Okay. I thought it would. Let's then... It's not quite morning yet, so let's pass uh, two hours. And then we will sleep for one hour. We pick that up, and because we still need a little bit of scrap metal for different things like uh, another fishing tip up and that sort of stuff, let's just break this down. It is sunlight. You can see the sun is over the horizon, which means it's actually light enough to do this. We're going to do that. There we go. All right. And now we can go do some stuff. How heavy are we though? Okay, surpri surprisingly that uh, <laughs> happened. Uh, this hammer actually, I'm gonna use it now to break the ice, but then I will leave it here to forge. So I think when you break the ice, I think the hatchet takes 5% damage. I wonder if the hammer's the same. So 72%, let's use the hammer and see what happens. Which it takes a while. Okay. Two percent lost for that. Okay. Hey, fresh rockfish. Cool. Let's just keep doing this stuff. Wait. Oh, did the thing break? I'll die if I don't warm up soon. No, it's here. What? Oh, I clicked fishing instead of this, my bad. All right, that's fine. Um, yeah, we got some stuff. So I think we'll head back to base first. And sort ourselves out. Uh, how heavy are we though? Uh, we'll go back to base. Drop some stuff and then we'll go around and do stuff. Let's have a look for beachcombing. I'm not going to check the whole beachcombing thing every time. But if the 
boat washes ashore, I want to go check it. The boat is kind of rare though. I'm going to check. But I mean, actually, there's no point checking because there hasn't been a blizzard. One of the minor drawbacks of playing on these lower difficulties is it's just these small little things like um, uh, so for example Stalker is way easier than Interloper the, the conditions are so much milder there's way more loot everything is easier but there are more wolves so there is one thing that's disadvantaged in that sense there's more wolves another thing is that for beachcombing the beachcombing resets whenever there's a blizzard so if you want to go and beachcomb naturally there are fewer blizzards on lower difficulties so on stalker there are less opportunities to loot from the beach than there is an interloper there are stuff like that and uh, i believe i have to double check this but i believe on interloper you actually reduce fatigue less than the other difficulties so the all the other meters, all your meters drain faster on interloper. Uh, so you get hungry faster, thirsty faster, and that sort of thing. Except for uh, fatigue, which I think is drained slower on interloper. I guess that's because if it wasn't like that, this would be so hard to travel. Okay, so how are we looking here? 65, this needs uh, two more days, I guess. Yeah, and then we can do stuff. Okay, so uh, we can, we have the this and we have a stick and one of those lines. I just want to go and craft a thing or two over here. Bonk. Yeah, we can make a tip up, another one. Why not? Place one somewhere else. It doesn't really change anything, but just for the sake of it. Uh, we don't really need hooks, I guess. No, I don't think so. Okay, well we have too much stuff on us now, way too much stuff. So we need to do some inventory management and then we can go back out there. And I'm pretty much just waiting for these saplings to cure so I can get more arrows. And then I can hunt some more. Okay, well let's just sort this out. So in here we have the books and that's it. And here we have clothing and some other stuff. Well, medicine. Any new medicine? I don't think so. Oh, we don't need to carry 12 of these around. Um, yeah, okay, then in here, I can put this in here now, I think, uh, except for, how is 54, I'll tell you what, we're going to take this out, the quality tools, and we're going to repair this hacksaw. There we are. Nice, 79, much better. And let's have a... This increased our repair skill. There's kind of two skills. I think it's sharpening and repair. That is like an invisible skill, so to speak. Uh, right. Let's see here. Well, so we got two. This flashlight we won't be needing. We don't need this. We don't need that. We don't need this for now or this. Guess that is it. We have way too many of these, but I'm going to do some mapping. Let's put some uh, eight in there. And then I think that is it. Yeah. The fish, I need to cook, but we can leave the fish outside. Leave it here with the bear meat. This one. And let's just eat as much of the salmon as we can, because the salmon is so heavy. Oh yeah, that's much better. And now we're light again. Much, much better. Okay, so there's a few places I've mapped uh, over here. I have mapped. I guess we could go do that first. Let's just make a nice little map of this region. Do I smell now? Yeah, okay, I'm carrying two things, so I do smell a little bit. Let's also check over here. I haven't really looked around that closely over here. <clears throat> is there anything hidden? You never know where they're going to hide loot from you. There is a mod for the long dark, which I'm very tempted to install. 
that does nothing to the game at all, but it adds this one little thing. And it's called the Lonely Orca. And what it does is, it, it adds an orca swimming around here at this laser point. And if you look across the ocean, every now and then you'll see a little fin pop out and dive back down. And that's it. That all, that's all it does. Uh, but I like it. That's like a nice little touch. Uh, I don't play with mods. Um, and I kind of feel like if you're going to install one mod, you might as well install more. So it's uh, maybe not the best. But uh, I don't know. That was a neat little thing, I thought. We'll see. This looks like a sapling has washed ashore. Very nice. This is a broken arrow, I think. Yeah. You need actually to make some fire hardened arrows. This looks like scrap metal, I think, or fish. I think it's fish. I mean, might, might as well take it. And we'll map over here too. Let's, uh. I don't want to use an arrow on this wolf. Because, um, I want to use the arrow for, for the deer. So let's just. One thing about the roll that I really don't like is that you can't move while you aim. So, oops. If you take the stress pistol, let's say the wolf coming towards you. See, I can still move. I can navigate. I can make him walk right towards me. Same thing with the bow. That's the best way to kill a wolf. Okay, he's charging. Then you just move, make him go straight towards you and you shoot him in the face. Right? Revolver though, you're stuck. Can't move. Very strange. I don't know why that is. And it's a bit odd. Uh, I might cook this wolf. Might as well. Let's uh, let's do it. Let's cook a wolf. Get a wolf hide. Another another little thing. Then we're close to done here. We haven't. Um, Checked Matt's truck, and I think it's got the smaller things we haven't looted near the church, but I think that's about it. Turned out pretty well. Turned out pretty well indeed. All right, let's um, harvest the meat. Do that first. And we might as well just cook the meat while we're at it. I might have to drop some gear. This doesn't really... Let's cook this too. How long does this take? 37. Okay. I'm gonna leave the 0. 0.6. We're not gonna eat this meat anyway, probably. I'm also gonna get the guts in the hide. 12 minutes. Let's map then. There we are. Much better. We also could map. Uh, this actually has not been mapped properly either. Down here. That's no, alright. Okay, take that, drop that. Put a coal on here again, 24 minutes. Okay, let's get this then in that case. Just a hatchet. Let's get a bit more supplies. And that. Actually need another coal. That's right, we got so much of it. 44 minutes. Now we can take the hide. This is, gives us something else to do while we wait for the uh, thingy to cure. Nice. Carcass housing level 2. Okay. Uh, one more, I guess, then. Uh, actually, I don't have any sticks, do I? Because it would have been nice to make some fire hardened arrows, but well. Uh, yeah, let's just do this. I'll just kill the wolf so I, if I have to. There we go. Let's eat the rest of this salmon. Let's start eating this. Okay, 48, one minute. 
Let's make some water. Finish more or less the same time. And use, let's use the fire for one more batch of water. Let me take the stuff. Gonna make us heavy. Any more feathers? No. Okay, we haven't actually mapped over here either. Uh, but we could do that the next day, I suppose. We could actually just run to wear ourselves out a bit. Drop some of this stuff. There goes the wolf. I am tempted to get rid of these wolves, though. Just to make it a bit safer. Maybe you should do that. Let's get rid of them. Let's grab the hide. And it's safe to do this because it's not cold enough and the other wolf is running away. If the wolf is in the action of fleeing while I pass time, then you are safe to do stuff. It will continue fleeing. If, however, the wolf is like this, I don't know if you saw him, but he's right there, right? If this wolf now is going towards me and then I harvest something here or do something else and pass time, if I do that, then the wolf will attack me. Uh, if it's currently fleeing, then it's fine. It's gotta take our time with this. Yeah. Take this wolf carcass too. Oh, hide rather. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's all the wolves. Hey, you're a wolf firearm too. How oh, nice. Got a few more feathers too. And, uh, let's see. We could also do this. And when you reload, do like this. Like, unload. And now, the... These end up here. I still gotta load it, though. <laughs> nice looking weather. What exactly... A small wall, it's okay. That's fine. What exactly did the... I don't use revolvers that often, so... We go conversation increased and we repair it better. Okay. I'm still waiting for the bear to respawn. I'd better find some water. I uh, these green ones with numbers on them, there's only a few of those in the game. So there's one there. Uh there's one in full on muskeg. There's one in I think it's Trapper's Cabin. I can't remember the other ones. There's not many of them. Okay, I'm going to map up here also because I apparently haven't mapped this part, the mine. Some water. As you can see, this early in the game, when we're only a few days in, the temperature is much milder. And we got decent weather, we got uh, good clothing. Um, so I can, I'm free to just go about and harvest and stuff without fire if I want to. I would harvest the meat and stuff from those wolves, but I don't really need it because I can't really eat it. I have so much bear meat anyway. I could get the guts, I suppose, but I don't really want that either. So let's just uh, map here. Make a nice little map in this area. I did not actually map the mine, interestingly. That happens sometimes that uh, you have to be in a certain spot for things to get mapped, which is a bit annoying. Probably now will work. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Uh, a, a famous example, which uh, maybe they fixed it now, but if you wanted to map um, the dam, the Carter Hydro Dam in Winding River. So in Winding River, if you're mapping that, there's only two things really to map for Faithful Cartographer, and that's the cave leading to Pleasant Valley and then the dam itself. The rest is just empty stuff. And people just kept saying i can't map this this damn dam like uh i go up to the to the door to the entrance nothing worked you know and it turned out you had to go all the way up to the dam from the river 
on the ice and then map it. Same thing in Bleak Inlet. In Bleak Inlet, the cannery, a lot of people could not figure out how to map the cannery. You were in the cannery and you mapped it. Nothing happened. No, you had to stand on the road of the cannery and map it. So there's these little nuances that were a little bit silly, but... So that tip-up is over there. I wonder how far away I can place this other one here. So, suitable ice. I would like to place this as close to the other base as possible. So, it doesn't really say when suitable ice is, but I miss... Oh, it has more wolves. <laughs> I think that's the last wolf here. The only problem with using the revolver for this... ...is that I have finite bullets. I can make more bullets, but that would mean going to Bleak Inlet. Or, or, or Black Rock. Uh, but I'll definitely find more bullets, just not in this region. Let's grab these. If I get one more... No, I think I have it actually. I, I killed four wolves, didn't I? Yeah, so I actually have enough now to make the... Uh, to make the wolf jacket if I want to. It just needs to cure first is the thing. Let me just see here. I'm very cold, but I don't really... I don't really care about it because it's so easy to heal. Wow, really? How far away do I have to be to, uh, to do this? I wish it likes here. I think it's green. I wish it would just give me this and be red. And then if, if it was the whole region, you're going to say, oh, this region does not permit it or something. Yeah, let's put it, let's put it here. Let's do it. Oh, I forgot to put the hammer back in the forge, but I'll do that later. I don't need to do this. I just fancy doing it. There you go. I think that's all the wolves dead. Except for the wolves... Uh, hold on. Yeah, sorry. Except for the wolves that are on the other side. Uh, wolf hides take... Is it six days? Seven days. Okay, so in seven days I can make the wolf coat if I want to. Uh, we, may, we may have left after seven days. We'll, we'll see. But it's actually perfectly sustainable now to stay here. You could stay here and never leave because uh, we have the bow and we can also make more bows if you need to because we have maple and uh, if you run out of arrows you got um, saplings washing ashore anyway you can just hunt wolves and bears and deer and fish and you know you can just stay here really why not let's grab this and harvest it i'm carrying fresh guts and this okay Pack is getting kind of heavy. Uh, I have some wolf meat. Yeah, let's just drop the wolf meat because I don't know if I'll be eating it. Maybe I will. I might uh, tomorrow eat one and go with 1% parasite risk. It is possible to reach cooking level 5 in one day. You can uh, micro harvest. Like tiny little pieces of meat and just cook a bunch. I only done it to level three in one day, just because I wanted to make the pies that you get. But other than that, I haven't uh, haven't done it. Okay, we're gonna put, uh, but you but you can do it. Uh, a YouTuber called Archimedes, which you should check out. Has done it. I think he did an interloper as well. As in, like, he killed a bear with a flare gun and just harvested the crap out of it. Okay, this is fine. Uh, let's just sort out inventory a little bit. We got, I saw we have this broken arrow. So we get another arrow head from that. And I think we're just going to go and sleep. Don't think, and we're going to harvest this too. I'm just going to go sleep. And we'll see the status of things in the morning. I can navigate this in the dark. I don't need the light. This is a disclaimer. <laughs> for most of the things I do in the dark, I don't actually need the light. The reason I light it is for you to see. Uh, there are some exceptions where I struggle, but 
Generally speaking, I can just walk around in the dark and I know exactly what's happening. But it's not fun for you to see, just, you're just seeing darkness and that's not that fun. So uh, that's, that's why I'm doing it. Okay, uh, let's eat this. And let's eat something. Uh, yeah, let's eat the dog food because if it gets food poisoning, it's not a big deal. In like a safe area. Oh, we didn't get food poisoning. All right, let's sleep. Uh, we'll put 12, even though I think we're actually going to sleep 11 hours probably, but we'll put 12. We'll go from there. And a couple more things to do. There we are. Let's eat some more stuff. Um, I'm going to eat this one cattail I'm just carrying around for some reason. Let's eat this. All right, we drink too. Nice. Now we don't smell either because we're not carrying anything that stinks. Yeah, see? All right, so how's this looking? Our bow is 78 and this is, none of these are cured, but they're 90%. So we do some stuff and this will be cured in the evening maybe. These are cured. These are getting close so we can craft pants if you like. See, see how much stuff we can do just being here. I don't think we need any of this right now. Uh, put that away. Let's make ourselves light. Wait, no, I need that. Uh, no, actually, sorry, I did that. <laughs> Casings we can put away for now, anyway. That we can put away too. And I guess that is it for now. We might do some repairs later. Yeah. Alright, okay. Let's go and do a few misc things that we haven't been doing. So a few places we haven't mapped. A couple smaller places we haven't uh, looted also. Matt's truck and that sort of thing. Loads of crows around, as you can see. I uh, wonder why. <laughs> and it's just because of these uh, carcasses. And the tip-ups are, of course, active. I want to get some feathers. And uh, I think we'll um, grab these. And what I'll do is I'll just drop the fish on the ice itself. Uh, the hammer I'm going to put in the forge so I don't carry it around. Even though it is useful for this sort of stuff. I'm not going to go and check the fishing holes too much at the moment anyway. But it is a sustainable source of food for sure. Trout, I think we'll definitely harvest that into bait. Four bait, okay. There we go. Again. Actually, the hatch this is a good test. So, you see the hatchet now? 75%. It's 4% frozen. Break the ice. Took two seconds. Huh. Did no damage. Nice. Then they changed that because before, that is to say, a few years ago, it would take 5% damage. Regardless how long it took, which is just insane. Alright. And here, let's go into the Riken and drop the hammer by the forge. But the main use of the hammer outside of forging is fishing holes. So, on my normal interloper runs, the way I do it is uh, whenever I find hammers, I keep one hammer in my main base just to have one there. And then I position the hammers around the forges. So I place one hammer at each forge. So that whenever I want to go to a forge, I can just use the hammer right away. Very easy. And then if I have excess hammers, if there's a few more than I actually need, I position those in fishing huts that I use the most often. We can also do this. Same thing here. Now this, this is 100% frozen. Let's see how this is doing to the condition of the hatchet. Will that take 5%? It did take 5%. Alright. Hey, another Irish Lord thingy. Alright. Uh, let's just drop this here though, yeah. Uh, drop this. We can cook it another time. 
And then in here, we're now going to leave the hammer behind. And we're going to leave some coal here too, so I know I can forge if I want to again. So we have some coal here already that I just didn't pick up, which is this. I think that was it, I think. And we're going to drop the hammer. Leave that here. And next to it, we'll drop, uh, I think, uh, nearly all of this. Eight, eight coal. And I'll, I'll drop all of it, actually. All of it. And then we'll just put a note in our journal. Uh, DP, so like Hibernia, main base, Hammer in, actually no, I, I tend to do it like this, Hammer locations, Reich and Forge plus Tentacle, I know that's for the future, it's easy to right now say, oh I'll remember that, I just did it, it's easy, I'll remember, it's like no you won't. Maybe you have a break, maybe you go on holiday, maybe you just do something else. Come back two weeks later and like, what was I doing again? Oh, right, I think I was doing this, but why was I doing that? Or how much stuff do I have, you know? That's why I, I prefer, when I make episodic series or long videos, I largely prefer doing it in one run, because then it's much easier to remember everything. But that's very hard to do, so... Uh, because of family reasons, uh, my... Uh, are often cut into multiple segments. An episode, like an episode of the Stalker series or an episode of Interloper, they are very often recorded in one go. Not always, but some, uh, usually. While longer videos are often multiple days glued together. Oh, the moose is here. The moose is here. You are going down, Mr. Moose. Did you hear it? The moose is here. Da -da 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 -da. Moose satchel. There it is. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing as the bear because I only have the one arrow. If I had forged more, I could have uh, could have done more. But well, we're gonna do the same thing. I'll show you a little trick. Guess we didn't have to. We just killed it in one go. <laughs> oh. I was going to shoot it with the flare gun once it attacked me, but I guess we don't have to do that now. Nice! This is a big, big change because now we have the moose hide. Which we can actually grab like right away. Oh, hello. You want to join the party, eh? Come here. Come a bit closer. Like that. And... Uh, Okay, there we go. Now we have a wolf and a moose. Uh, I guess that's it. Yeah. Alright, so we need to make a fire here for sure. We don't actually have that. I just dropped all my wood though, it's the only thing. But we actually are warm, so uh, we could actually just quarter this and take it back, which I think is what we're going to do. Just bear with me one second. Alright. Okay, so I need to harvest this moose, including all the meat. The only issue is I don't have much wood, so I'm leaning towards actually quartering the moose and then taking the stuff back and then grabbing all the meat and then cooking it because I don't have the fuel to start a fire here. Okay, let's uh, drop whatever we got. Another goes okay. Let's just do this. We're gonna quarter it. Use the hacksaw. So. <clears throat> it's warm enough that I can actually do this without a fire. There we go. And what we really want the gold is this moose side here. So we're gonna take that. We're gonna take all the guts. And this we're going to take back to Hibernia. Oh, uh, we're going to take some of this moose meat too. They weigh so quite a bit. They weigh is it nine. Yeah, nine. Uh, let's take two of these back to Hibernia. And the others we might take to the Riken. 
That is fantastic. So I was hoping the moose was here. Because uh, you don't necessarily... What was that? That was a weird noise. It sounded like I dropped a gut. Because uh, you don't necessarily get a moose in every region. On Interloper especially, there's often quite a few moose missing. But... Um, Stalky, maybe there's a little bit of a higher chance, but I was really hoping that the moose was here. But after I've been surviving a few days now and I hadn't seen it, I kind of started to lose uh, hope that it was there. But uh, there it was. So I'm gonna salvage all of this moose meat and then I'll cook it at first opportunity. I might go out and get some wood and then cook it. And this opens up a whole new opportunity because that means that now I have a lot of stuff to do while this cures because I want this to cure and I want to make the moose hide satchel. So what I really want to do then is um, just kind of change these things. Basically we want to drop the hides to the cure and then we want to start cooking. And we want to, but well, we before we do that we need wood. And then you cook, and then you make arrows, and then by the time I've done all this, the bear's probably respawned. You can kill the bear, and hopefully we're high enough uh, cooking by then also, and we uh, probably will have lots of food because of the moose meat. And then eventually the hide will cure, and we can just get the moose hide satchel right away. And as you can see, it's perfectly sustainable to just stay here. We do run out of revolver bullets eventually, though. That's eventually going to just run out. Okay. A load of crows around now. That's the wolf over there. Okay. Let's... We're going to drop these meat bags inside, just like we did with the bear, and then harvest it. And then we want to cook it just like we did with the bear. The difference is we can actually eat the moose meat. Let's see. So let's drop the new side. That's got six days left. This needs ten days. Then we have more guts here, a load of guts. And we'll drop the the meat like so here, it doesn't really matter. And I was going to take the other stuff to Hibernia, but maybe we don't need to. We might be able to just... Uh, drag it over here. Would be good. I'm do what I did last time and drop a few heavy things and carry more stuff. We could just do that. In which case, let's leave a little pile of stuff here. So let's leave... Oh, we got this heavy. I don't need to bring the water with me or this. I don't need the hatchet. I don't think, or that, or that. I'll carry that. And um, now we don't need to see that. Keep the bow. Keep one torch. Yeah, uh, that's that's good. Now at fourteen, we can carry quite a lot of moose meat now. You hear that again? <laughs> what is that noise? Hmm, that old. Oh, welcome to Sack's vacation spot. Desolation point. Uh, I think I'll check this later. Right now I run to focus on the moose. Alright, so this is going really well and we haven't even left the region. We're just here on a little holiday resort. This could be the whole game. We're like, you know, welcome to Long Dark. Survive as long as you can in Desolation Point. <laughs> it's going just fine. With so many resources. Now we kind of looted everything. I think the only thing I haven't looted is Matt's truck, I think. Uh, we got so much stuff. And we're perfectly sustainable just here in this region. At least for a long, long time. I will eventually leave though, but it is kind of fun to just stay in this one region and just dominate it. See how far you can go. 
without actually leaving it. Oh, I see, huh? This is exactly why you uh, have the distress pistol out. <laughs> you see that? Oh, he's dead. Yeah, isn't that a nice scenery? Let's take a moment for a second here. You got a blinking wolf running around. You got the fishing tip. Is he gonna run that way? Yeah, he is. Let's see, does he pair again? Where are you? Ding, ding, there we are. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> How far is he going? Is he going to my door? Oh, no, he's over there, okay. Where are you going? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Eventually he'll bleed out because as you saw there was blood on the ground, so he's he is gonna he's gonna bleed out and die. And even though I don't smell that, I, I wasn't carrying anything that smelled. There was a wolf there and he just came up over the hill. So that's why it's so important to be ready. In this case I had this rest pistol out. The revolver would have probably achieved the same, assuming I could hit the wolf. But the stress pistol is even safer. That's why you gotta be always ready. Very often you can hear the wolf. In that case, I couldn't actually hear him. So, um... I'm glad I was ready for that. I'm just gonna stay here for a moment, you know. I just think this game is so beautiful and so phenomenal. I'm just gonna take a moment here and look at this. This crow is circling, there's a blinking wolf running around. You know. <laughs> uh, there's a fishing tip up. I think the flare has died now. I think uh, there he is. Yeah, he's running, but the flare has died. Still running around though, like a little ant. Yeah, it's nice that you can actually take a moment, especially on Stalker as a woman. If you can take a moment and just look out, isn't this nice? Oh, he's gonna run around there for a while, and then he's gonna bleed out. Let's go back to it. And I don't know if you noticed there, but I reloaded faster in case of wolves. If you click the reload button while you eject the cartridge, you put a new one in right away. Okay, yeah. So that's that wolf as well. Uh, let's take all of these, or at least as many as we can carry. Something's gotta go. Ah, uh, no, that's too much. <laughs> one, two, three. Take these three. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, the weather changed, huh? I was going to take these to Riken. But now that um, I have all this moose meat, I might as well just take it to Hibernia. Uh, the fishing tip ups, I don't know if I'll check them now because I ha I've already caught some fish and they're kind of like extra food at this point. Especially because I have the moose. So I think I'm just going to leave them for the moment. And then you just. If I need some more food, I want to level up some fishing or whatever, I can just go and grab it. I don't have to check because they will become active all the time. Alright. So I think we are looking really good in this region. I need to get some wood though. So I think we got a plan here. Plan now is... Uh, step one. Get all the meat over here to Hibernia. Then it's harvest all the meat. Then it's get wood to cook the meat. Which we can do by just breaking down crates and whatever. Then it's cook the meat. Then it's craft something by the time we're done there's probably arrows kill the bear if necessary craft some more stuff craft some more stuff but at this point we might as well make the wolf coat maybe even the bear coat we'll see there we are. okay back at it i should have again there's a blank thing there I should have maybe mapped the area before I harvested the moose, because then the moose carcass would show up on the map. And that could be an indicator that that's where the moose is. 
but that's the sort of thing that you won't really forget because the the moose is always in the same place or rather the same possible spawns and now i know that the moose does spawn up there so it's going to just continue spawning up there because we killed the moose quite early it's day eight or nine when i killed it i think eight yeah um the moose should re also just like the bear respawn pretty quickly it will probably respawn by day 30 or something and uh assuming it you know rolls the chance of spawning Ready for more wolves. Let me try something. I don't know, can is it possible to place a can on this? Yeah. <laughs> can you actually do it? I don't think you can. I don't think you can, ha uh, uh no. How about there? Oh, there will, there will, oh come on, more wolves. Hey, you guys just don't quit, huh? You just don't quit. Running out of bullets, then. Eh? Let's map this, actually, because uh, we haven't mapped this. I think it's... Oh, it might get to... Then it might still be okay, the map still. Yeah, barely. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. Nice. Okay, this is the moose spawn right here. It didn't actually map the truck underneath. We can go there now. Too much stuff to carry. We can just go down this way instead. Uh, I don't think I'll grab the wolf stuff. There's so many of them. I don't really need the hides. Not really. I don't need the meat either unless I want to use it to load up cooking. Down here there's a truck. For some reason it didn't show up on the mapping, but I think it's called Matt's truck, I think. Yeah, Matt's truck. That's it. Ah. Well, here's the rope, which you can use to attach to the rope anchor by the mine. But we don't need that. This will come in handy. Oh no. Scroll message. Hint. This is the Katie's. No, this is the. That's uh yeah, that's Scruffy's cave. That's it. So in here you have three mementos. So the Scruffy's cave hint, Katie's corner hint, and then the cache over here. Yeah, okay, don't think there's anything else there. Yeah. Over there there might be a carcass. We don't need that one not right now though. Okay, we should be fine, but because it's super foggy, I think we killed pretty much all the wolves now. Because I killed like seven wolves, and I think that's all of them in the area. Four around Hibernia, and then three on the other side. Uh, so I think we're safe, but I'm... Okay, I'm still going to have this out, because I can't see. There might be a wolf that I've missed. And it's also possible that the bear has respawned. In which case, I need to be ready for that too. It should be about... Mm, this way. I don't think I can run, can I? Yeah, I can, okay. We can run then. It's not if we get tired. Should be around. It should be around here. This map is pretty easy to navigate because it's so small. I think it is probably the smallest map in the game of the main regions. That is. Um, I think. I think so. At least. There's also a broken railroad, but I think this is smaller, mostly because of the connector line going to Broken Railroad. Uh, 
Am I messing this up and going the wrong way? I think I am. Yeah, this is very nice, isn't it? Yeah. How do I do that? Hmm. The dishwasher, sure. <laughs> Uh, seems like I went way too much to the um, to the right there. This wash the show, huh? Wonder if this hmm. is any good to eat. Beef jerky. Oh, nice. Should be over here then. Yeah, there we are. Took a little bit of a detour in the fog. Open ice is by far the hardest thing to navigate. <laughs> with reduced visibility. So I play this game for a while. I generally speaking don't get lost. If it's a blizzard or thick fire, I can never get anywhere. But as you saw that when you're on the open ice like that or in the open plains like in Forsaken Airfield, then it can be really difficult because you have a much vaguer sense of direction. You could do like this, drop a stick. And this stick will point in the same direction always. So if I drop another stick. So if you're on the ice, you know that like this way will point towards Hibernia, for example, if you're roughly that way. Not Hibernia technically, but east. Oh, this isn't technically east. No, wait, sorry, it'll be north. Sorry, north. Points north. Because uh, sticks, when you drop them in the game, they point not technically north, but up on the map. They point upwards, uh, map-wise. So if I'm here and I drop a stick and then it points that way, I could just go here. And I might not hit this place, but I might hit here or something. Instead, what I did now, I walked like this. So I, I did a bit of a detail there. Okay. <clears throat> Let's make a little note here. So. I'm going to make a little to-do list. To-do. So harvest meat. Get wood. Cook meat, make arrows, craft um, probably deer pants, craft wolf coat, craft moose satchel, and um, possibly kill bear again. It's kind of like a to do list. I'm going to do one of them now, which is harvest the meat. Take advantage of that. So we're going to do that. The meat is over here. This gear is starting to slow me down. There we are. Can't move because I weigh 91 kilos. Okay, let's start harvesting this stuff. Right. Carcass one of 50 with an energy. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, of course. Stop. I, I also. Never mind. Forget this. Because I dropped all this stuff here. Yeah, okay, that's it. Okay, now we can do it. We'll just do it here indoors. We've been outdoors a lot. Yeah, 100 kilos. <laughs> uh, I think we'll use the hacks. The hacks are so easy to repair. So it's going to do this all night pretty much. Rinse and repeat. Let's do this. It's easier because then the heaviest will come at the top. Sort by weight. Fishing bait worn out. That's fine. Rinse and repeat. We're gonna do this all night. And we'll take it outside. Something's making me feel tired. <clears throat> and on what we go. <coughs> so you got bear meat to cook as well, which of course we will cook. But this is priority, because this moose meter does not give us parasite risk. Okay, uh, what food can I eat actually? Uh, let's just eat some of these things. Have this too. That's it. Let's also eat these. And the water. Oh, yeah, all right, Will. Oh, don't you worry. All right, let's keep going. All night long. 
We got plenty of time. Because we need things to cure anyway, so it doesn't matter if we sleep into the next day. It doesn't matter. I'm getting weaker. And we'll just cook in the night or whatever, it doesn't matter. But we're gonna cook, so we probably won't sleep into the whole next day. We'll sleep like probably six hours or something. Aurora, huh? We have an Aurora on our hands. Hey, we can actually move, how about that? Uh, let's make it a bit faster though, let's just drop a bunch of stuff. That's like all the little pieces. No, no, no. this is fine. Is there actually a, a message on here? Yeah, there is. Uh, I haven't done most of these. Greg, when you get this, contact my lawyer and fill them in on what's happening out here. I can't get a response from Deep Wild, and at this point, I don't expect one. From Manny. All right, Manny. I'll let Greg know if I see him. Chances are, though, I won't see him. Okay, so let's drop here all our moose meat. The big ones. Then we have some small pieces which we can put over here. That's like a different pile. And then... Got a flashlight actually. Can I grab that? I have two flashlights. Yeah. Take this. This flashlight gives me such uh, Slenderman vibes. It just really looks like the Slenderman. Uh... I might have to drop some gear. Oh god. Flashlight. So this actually deters aurora animals. And you can use high beams like this. Scare them off, but it really drains the battery. Okay, let's drop again some ether. So we have a bunch of meat now. There we are. Okay, I'm just going to very quickly because it's Norora, and it's been a while since we killed the bear. <laughs> Just gonna see if Norora bear is out. The wolf, there shouldn't be Aurora wolves out, I don't think, because we killed all the wolves. I'm just gonna have a look anyway. Now the wolves are dead, as you can see. Three dead wolves. Yeah. So that means no aurora animals at all. I think they're all dead. I don't think there's anything I need to do during the aurora other than um, the buffer memory which I already got. I don't think there are any other ones. There might be a laptop in the lighthouse actually. I'm not going just for that. Nice sky, that's for sure. Uh, I wonder where the wolf died in the end. This is also fun. It's kind of nice and spooky to use the flashlight. That's, you don't have that on the interlope either, so it's nice to have a little touch. Alright. I think I'm going to sleep past this stuff. Might as well carry this thing. Alright, so we did... We did this. Uh, did I save it by doing that, actually? Yeah, I did, yeah. Let's just eat these things. Let's do it outside. This might give me food poisoning, but I don't really care if it gives it to me. My condition is pretty high. I do need some water, but when we cook, that should be fine. Alright, I'm not going to sleep 12 hours because it's almost morning when we're going to cook anyway. So I'm going to sleep like probably 8. Enough to go around and grab wood. Alright, 7 days. And here we are. We are looking really well and these are cured now. 
Uh, these are pretty much cured, so I can make pants. This has got a while still, but I mean, I can't really use any two anyway. And then this is getting there, but... Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. And we're still here in Desolation Point, and I think we're going to stay here a little while longer because we've got so many projects going on in this region. I could, of course, just leave it. What's that under there? Hey! I I can use this. Look at that. How did I miss that before? That was so hidden. I just happened to see it from the angle where I was uh, standing. That was so hidden. Holy crap. I, I don't think I've ever looked there before. And it's so, you can't really see it. It's just, wow. Well, that was a bonus. <laughs> if you, you think you looted everything, but no. There's a stim there. <laughs> wow. Oh, anyway. Uh, because we're so self-sufficient, we got arrows and everything to make, and we got weapons. Now we're looking really well. We can, we can easily stay here for forever, probably. And uh, normally I would keep moving and moving, but this is just perfectly possible to have a little vacation home here. Um, but it depends a bit how you want to play it, of course, because I can now craft a few things and craft their pants, wolf coat, and eventually bear coat and so on. But on this difficulty, arguably, you don't need all of that stuff. You'll be good enough with, like, ex expedition parkers, for example, because they're lighter, so they're better. And combat pants and uh, climbing socks are great, uh, insulated boots. It's a lot of clothing you can find on Stalker that actually arguably is better than the crafted stuff because it's uh, not as hot or not as warm, but they're much, much lighter. So uh, I could stay here forever, but by doing so, I do neglect a few opportunities. I do neglect the opportunity to find... Expedition parkers, snow pants, and uh, those sort of things. A rifle, don't have that, for example. Uh, and that sort of thing. So there's, and eventually I run out of revolver bullets too. So I could stay here forever, but I, I probably won't. I will stay a bit while longer just to get a lot of stuff sorted. And then I'm going to head onwards. And I definitely want to go to Ash Canyon to get the backpack. That's the, that's the main thing to do. And then we'll see. But for now... Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, survivors. Bye-bye. <laughs>